some data. Click on the layers. I'm going to add data. I want to choose the Korea faults. Now at the moment, the, the line style is just a plain line. I want to change that. So go right click on this. Go properties. In the symbology, click double click categories. Click add all values. As you can see, there's two different types of faults. For the inferred fault, I want it to be a black dashed line. So right click, go to properties for selected symbol. Scroll down. There is a number of dashed lines you can choose. I'm just going to choose this one. Go OK. For this one, I want it to be a plain line. So I choose single narrow. Go OK. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how to make a thrust fault using this one. Let's go properties for selected symbol again. Click single narrow. Go edit symbol. Click on the line properties. Go properties. Click symbol. So you want a triangle. You want the size to be about 10 or 9, it's up to you. You can have whatever size you want. Go OK. You can have a number of number of amounts of the triangles on the line. It's up to you. Just click click this to make the first one flip. Now as you can see it's not it's in the middle of the triangle. So to fix this go to symbol. Go to edit symbol. Now we want to change the y axis. So go up three and click OK. If you want to save this, you can, as you can see I have. Go OK. Now you can see that the triangle, or the teeth, are exactly on the line. So go OK. Go OK. the teeth to follow the line. Go to properties and go rotate symbol to follow the line angle. Otherwise it'll be pointing up the entire time. Go OK, go OK, go OK. Now you can see it's there. So now you want to apply it. As you can see, the 